Hey, hey, in this quick little video, I'm just going to answer a question that was recently uh, uh, put to me. Well, not put to me, put to the form. Anyway, real quick, if you're using Dreamweaver, somebody wanted to know about uh, uh, three uh, column layouts, templates in Dreamweaver. To get to Dreamweaver templates, it's pretty simple. Now, if you have this welcome screen on, you just go hit, you hit more, and it'll take you to this new document dialog. And you got the templates, right? HTML templates, HTML, like, you know, three column fix. They're all here. So you just select it, create. You can add different options in terms of the doc type. You want traditional, stricter, etc. If you don't understand doc types in CSS and so on, you have to look at our Dreamweaver course or our Web Design Basics course. Another option you can go into the templates. And you can get some stuff in here as well. And uh, yeah, so there's different, uh, there's also blank templates. So you go HTML, blank templates. So there's all these different uh, options you have available for you in terms of templates in Dreamweaver. What I would suggest is that you look through them all. There's uh, the code that was used to create these templates are pretty good. So it's a good way to learn how to create, for instance, a three column fixed layout or a three column liquid layout. And so, of course, uh, CSS compliant. This is new. These are new school templates rather than old school. This is with Dreamweaver CS5. If you're using an older version of Dreamweaver, the templates are there. You can access them as well by going into uh, File. Let me just move this into View here. So you go into File, New and you're going to get this template box as well, this new document dialog box as well. So there's different options. If you're using a very old version of Dreamweaver, you'll find that the templates, they're there, but they're not as advanced in terms of the code base. I believe it's been a while since Dreamweaver CS4, the uh, templates have gotten pretty good, if, meaning they're modern, if uh, you've uh, got an older version of Dreamweaver CS3 or MX, you may find the templates, uh, you might find some HTML table based layout templates which are not desirable anymore. So there you have it. If you're looking for templates in Dreamweaver, that's how you get them. You go to File, New, and you can go into the different templates, check them out. Like I'll just load one up. I'll go, I want two column fix, right sidebar. I'll go XHTML transitional. No, I want the HTML for strict uh, add CSS you want to put it in the head you can create an external file but I say put in the head for now and uh, that's it so we will create and here is our page so I just uh, I'll just change a little bit here killer sites rocks I'm biased of course and we just go file Save and it's going to say, Where do you want to save it? Save, save it right here on the root of the site. I'm going to call it template.html. And if you look here in our file view, there's our template and we can edit it. We look at the code. Here's a code on the left hand side. So we'll just go pure code. And you see, Dreamweaver has inserted our CSS code used to generate this template right here. Now you'll notice there's a lot of CSS comments uh, that Dreamweaver has inserted to teach us why certain CSS is used in a certain way to create the template. So it's kind of a, a good way to learn about layout techniques with CSS because at this time in 2011, though a lot of the CSS layout problems have been resolved. It's still there's still some workaround code in there, meaning code that uh, may not be intuitive by nature, and uh, so you have to understand why they were doing certain things. Fortunately, with the advent of HTML5, we're going to see an HTML compliant browsers. It's still not there yet in 2011, early 2011, but I say within a year or two we're going to start being able to use HTML5 layout techniques and CSS3 and it's going to be much much easier 
to lay out and create page pages that uh, you know have all the different structures that we like structures being you know one column two columns three columns center line right aligned whatever and there you have it so I encourage you you know as a way to learn HTML go into the templates and and to learn CSS in Dreamweaver check them out if you're using an older version of Dreamweaver especially if you're using MX or CS3 you will find that some of the templates are uh, dated and they're going to teach you old school techniques so you want to stick to CSS based uh, templates and you want to go with uh, for now HTML 4.01 strict I remember for a time uh, X HTML was all the rage but that was kind of dumb uh, because designers who don't really understand programming were telling everybody to use HTML and you know basically when I go with HTML 4.01 strict and when HTML5 becomes widely used, then that's what you're going to be using. You're going to be using HTML5. But I'll have to save that for another video because right now HTML5 is something that you're going to use really for iPad, iPhone, and Android development, you know, tablet PCs and tablet devices, rather, and uh, phones and so on. You can't really use HTML5 today in uh, the public web because still the majority of web browsers that people are using today do not read HTML5 yet so we have to hold on but it's coming